my name is Simona Bianconi. I'm the president of the Northwestern City chapter and the co-chair of this conference. And it is my pleasure to introduce our plenary uh, speaker, Professor Lee, who is really the history of uh, photonics and of the policy uh, program at our university, which is pretty much the best we have to offer at Northwestern. And it's a pleasure to have her uh, give this presentation for us. She received her doctorate in science physics from uh, the University of Paris in France in 1980. After that, she headed the exploratory material lab at Thomson CSF in France, and then she joined Northwestern University as Walter P. Murphy Professor and Director of the Center for Quantum Devices in the fall 1991, where she created the undergraduate and graduate program in solid state engineering. She is one of the leading scientists in the field of semiconductor science and technology of quantum materials and devices. She has authored or co-authored more than a thousand papers, more than 32 book chapters and 19 books, and has given more than a thousand invited and plenary talks, 2001. Her current research interest is in nanoscale of electronics, quantum devices and systems from DQB to terahertz. She's a fellow of MRS, IOP, IEEE, APS, SBAE, OSA, a fellow and life member of the Society of Women Engineers, of the International Engineering Consortium, and a member of the Electrochemical Society, ACS, AANS. She received many awards, uh, the IBM Europe Science and Technology Prize in 1987, the Achievement Award from the Society of Women Engineering in 1995, uh, the IBM Faculty Award in 2013, the Jan Chokarski Gold Medal in 2016, and the Benjamin Franklin Award in Electrical Engineering in 2018, and many best paper awards. She's an elected life fellow of Society of Women Engineering at UBMS, and she will give a presentation on the power of semiconductor materials innovation, breaking spectral and performance barriers for quantum. With that, Please join me in welcoming Professor Ali. Good afternoon, everybody. I have to say that I'm here for you. And 1,000 talk that I gave and I'm giving everywhere around the world, including the SBIE, I have to say that my most important one is the one that I'm giving always for the different chapter of the OSA and different universities, and especially this one for the reason that you can see here that I put this, that, as you can see here, today, these students, all of you, you tried to bring even me to come to give the talk for all of you. So I'm grateful to have especially all of my genius students in the class and at the same time the past and the future. So listening, let me to explain to you your chapter is the light and matter. So what is the light and matter? All of you, you are the future. For me, you are the future generation for to bring really much more sight and understanding of the structure of only hydrogen. That is one electron and the same one proton. And that is great, not only matter and lot. If you understand the structure, only the structure of the really hydrogen atom, after that, all of you, you can understand many different problems of the quantum vacuum, the Clasimir force, or the plasmony, or anything else that you can see, you can understand much, much better and to solve many problems. So, I want to attract the attention of all of you because one of my, I think, and you are going to see that, my talk today, is only for all of you, for the young and genius student. Why I am telling young and genius? Because 
If Sunday, Saturday, you are coming and organizing this kind of meeting, it means that you have passion. All right, so the talk that I'm giving has to be a kind of thing. The example, inspiration, and a path for your future. So follow me. And I'm going to explain at the beginning a little introduction what that we love to do here. After that, I'm going to create, explain to you who am I, how, what I did, what am I doing, and what is my purpose for the future, and at the same time, the conclusion. So come here again, look at that here, what does mean the if the light and matter. If you take the atom, the electronic transition in atom can generate light. And that is the detection of the power energy detection and giving light. Now, this light just I was last week in Economal Superior in Pisa. And that for the PhD exam of the one of the really genius students of quantum cascade on the quantum cascade laser. And I was telling that, yes, the question was, what's the basic of laser? I said, that is that. You are learning from the nature. Say so that what is the stimulation? Very simple. If you have another atom, this one is going to again to excite another electron, and that is the stimulation. So you can see that the basic of the detection and light and the matter, they are connected with each other and very simple. So if I come here, the color of light, the energy of light, Depends on the energy, on the energy difference between difference again the electronic and the orbital in the atom. So by changing, understanding that based on the again the difference material a stimulation, a stimulation, you can have the light from the very very high energy short wavelength. X-ray, gamma, UV, come up to the terrain and beyond. So by that, what you can do, again, that is the play matter and light. Matter, again, as I explained to you, detection and emission. So here, when you have, they say that that is, is it the really, is it light or wave? So we say that the electron is running around the, around the nucleus, you have electric light or electric field. But at the same time, you have a spin of the electron that is roaming around the orbit. So we have magnetic at the center of field. So together, we make giving us electromagnetic wave or light. So last century, not only last century, many, many centuries, everybody tried to understand really what is the light. And the most important part last century, we tried to understand the structure of atom. What is that? And that it was thanks to quantum mechanics that brings some insight for us. But for all of you, the young generation, I'm telling you, everything that we have, that is the hypothesis. They will take your body that there are some new understanding, similar to things that in the universe every day we are discovering some new star and new phenomenon. It's very similar. It means that it's a star thing. So now, if you are coming to see that in the law of science, again, it was understanding of the genes and cell structure, again, coming back thanks to the atom. Coming to computer and internet, electronic, coming back again to the structure of atom, transistor. So now, if I take one only one element, that is telling that semiconductor. And again, I would love to come back to here to attract the attention of all of you. The material, why is important? That is the S orbital, D orbital, P orbital. F orbital, if you understand that, you can really not only to 
to solve, to create a lot of different stages. Laser, detector, and the transistor back to set up a lot of uh, solve a lot of biological problems, and at the same time, electronic problems. So here, I am coming to say that semiconductor, because just recently they found that even any material that we have in the periodic table with the thin layer, they are semiconductor. What does mean so in any, the need of any individual in the society, from food, energy, and safety, everything to have one device based on semiconductor. So what was exactly what does mean if I take only the part of the P orbital of the periodic table that you can see that here, okay. If I can take that here, I would love to attract the attention of all of you. I'm sure that because even the, uh, the young students, <laughs> all of the two to three, they are here at the same time. I want to attract the attention of all of you again to say that. Then you come to the P share, according to the last energy level quantum mechanism, you have eight, you have to have eight electrons. So they put them together, or column four, 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 silicon, germanium, and especially cat. I explained to all of you, but I would love to explain again because in the chair, in the, uh, the, uh, the uh, in my uh, fourth edition of the fundamental of solid state engineering, I increased a chapter for the carbon, and I wrote a book for the carbon for all of you as a textbook that is going to come out end of the year. And next year, you are going for the soil state engineering to the uh, to talk it for, the, for all of you. So here, only if you take atom of carbon, that last energy level has four electrons. Connection of the different atom of the carbon together can give from diamond that is the hardest material to come to the graphic that is the softest material, zero energy. So only by connection together, so you can understand, by understanding the really the structure of atom of each element in the periodic table, you can solve many problems, many problems. And to understand, and especially, my objective to all of you is always, is the human, human beings, all of our problem. Because most of the element and all of the, when you are speaking DNA or all of the protein, different protein, is the base or chain of the carbon, different connection with one to different impurity. And this connection can change everything. So by telling that, unfortunately, the column four or silicon that is the best, best element for the transistor. And that we know that because God gave the beautiful silicon dioxide, silicon nitride, and the exactly the same lattice parameter as silicon for the passivation. Some of you, you know, you don't, you don't know you're going to let for the transistor. It's very important, 99% of all of them, when they the way the side and all of the transistor based the, 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 the rhythm is silicon. But thanks God that column four, they are covenant, but they are in dialect gap. <coughs> and the structure, symmetric structure, is diamond. And as is diamond, so it's not good for to make semiconductor lasers or the detectors. But if I'm coming to the column three, column four, last energy level, three electron, last energy level, five electron, we put together, and that we can have, we say that three, five semiconductor, they have covalent bonding, very strong, but they have at the same time the plant structure and the dorica, so that they are excellent for to make any wavelength laser, diode laser that you want, and any kind at the same time detector from deep UV of the terra itself. Again, the matter and the light, you are going to see that that is the best element. Not only it was, not only it is, it's continued to be forever. It means that for to have high power lasers and 
the eye performance detector and imager, that is the material of choice. And again, as we know, it is perfect, it cannot do anything, so in order to make it useful, we have to increase some defect, and the defect point, defect, it means that the purity to make it or pit up or end up, it will increase one element that has, uh, as an example, column six, uh, can increase one electron, we say that n -tot. and if we increase one of the element of column two, we say that that is the p -tot. so by that, we can make pH junction, and by that, we can make the difference device. But look at here, if you use very simple type and model, by doing the atomic and gap engineering mixing of the column three, column four, you can create the light, the laser, and the detection of light detector from deep UV up to terabytes. But how is possible? That is become possible thanks to the first Chokrovsky. Exactly, Chokrovsky it was a scientist, it was a chemist from the Poland 100 years ago when he was, he was putting his pin instead of in the ink, he put in the molten zinc and it was the starting of the crystal growth and that later on, of course, many scientists around the world and especially at Bell Labs, they thought and to complete the Chokrovsky method that we can have bulk crystal growth. It means that for any things that we do, we need, we need a kind of support and the support that is bulk crystal growth and that today when you have the silicon, or most of the, the, the uh, gallium astronaut in the cosmos for the different crystals, we use this technique of the Chokrovsky. But if you have only the crystal, you cannot do different color of the laser for the detector that you want. So what you are using, you are using the epitaxy. It means that atomic engineering to put atom by atom together. And the difference bond, so that is the difference technique. Liquid phase epitaxy, MBE, MOCVT, vapor phase epitaxy, and different, each of them, they have some advantages, some problems, but you cannot, again, to do anything if to make the quantum device if you have not the photolithography. So putting that together and coming to learning from the, again, the quantum mechanic to put it together, if you have only bulk material, silicon, endophosphate, gallium acetone, the energy gap as function of density of spin is parabolic. So the device that you are doing is not going to be very efficient. Now, if you increase the epitaxy, now you can have the different material and to make quantum well. So density of a state as function of energy, it becomes a stepler behavior. You try to trap electron in one direction, one dimension, and to make some devices that with a special match, the wavelength that you need, and much more efficient. And now, if you are going to use the photolithography at the same time, so you can make the quantum wire, quantum dots, and at the same time, density of a state as function of energy, so you have much more control of the electron and control of the, the baby of the baby that you need. So in this case, you, you are coming, so let's go to, yes, you are coming to do the, the if I'm coming that here again, before, yes, you are coming to have much better, much more efficient device. Last century, you understood the structure of atom. For that, we can have artificial atom or quantum dots. We learned what is the molecule to have artificial molecule or quantum wire, and for that, to have much better performance device. Now, if I'm coming to nature, here you can have the electron, the electron in the lattice, but at the same time, nature did what? If you have not the crystal, the, the nano crystal with the different material, and we can have one dimension, two dimension, three dimension, photonic crystal, and nature gave us already, because they, all of the color of the, the butterflies is based on the photonic crystal, is based, again, the pickle is based on the crystal. So we 
are learning from the nature, how nature taught us already to put the light and matter together. Now look at here, the most important, the uh, inspiration comes from nature, from ourselves. Look at the human sense. All of the human sense is based on non-technology. It's based on the very, very small dimension. And that all of the million and million sensors give the information through the neurons with very small change of the charge, 37 million electron volts, and information go to the brain, and brain play the role of the, again, the signal processing, cognition, emotion, judgment, everything. So last century we try to understand, and still we continue to understand what's going on. But not this century, we try to mimic the nature. What we do, I'm giving you one example. We try to understand how the eyes is working. We know already that our eyes has three kinds of the, uh, three kinds of the sensor. Blue, green, red. And by that, we can see all of the different colors. <coughs> but unfortunately, but unfortunately, we cannot see all of the different colors. Why? Because our eyes can see only a small part of the electromagnetic wave and electromagnetic spectrum. So what we do, we try to relay on the technology by doing the different <coughs> atoms, exactly as I mentioned, in the column tree part, I'm going to show you how we can really come from deep UV up to terahertz, but the equivalent of the eyes, we use the material, very simple, I'm going to show you how it's possible to achieve all, and equivalent that to put together, and you have the focal press optical one, detection one, detection of the light, and at the same time, equivalent of the brain through electronic transistor, as in, and you put together, and you create the artificial eyes, not exactly here, that you can see here, you can see that is the artificial eyes that you can create. So the things that I, our eyes cannot see at low temperature, at low in the dark, or at any, the, 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 the big the UV, you can see. So let's to see here. Now, I'm comparing two things. One part, again, the matter, electronic, the electronic part, it means that the electronic part that is the, the without integrated circuit or all of the, 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 the microprocessor that you have, with the, exactly the focal press, the camera that we have. As function of time, we try to decrease the dimension, like nature, and increase the number. Here we have the number of human brain. Here we have the number of human brain synapse cells. And here we have the molecular dimension. All of you, your brain is working, is using approximately five watts. But the difference, when you are working on me, you can have even more, 10 watts. But the microprocessor is the, even the most important part one use 20 watts and has a still much less 20,000 times the brain has more again the cell. So as you can see, we try to mimic the nature. It means that we try to, to come because the most important part to the objective is how we are, we are doing the information and to <coughs> to have the storage of the information. More and more, you are seeing that we have the computer, quantum computing, optical computing, quantum computing, and etc. But still, when you are seeing here, if you are coming with the optical storage, that is the part that we can do. And that is the, again, the lifetime. If we go to the magnetic storage, we can increase, but we decrease at the same time, the lifetime. We go to the charge storage, look at that, we can go up to two terabits. But if we go to the nature, we can have more than 600 terabits and more than one million years. And that is based on what? That 
is this again on the channel exactly as I explained to you very simple. So that is the direction that we go. So understanding is one part, but after that the technology it becomes a kind of much more difficult and important. So now here let me to explain to you who am I, how I started, and that is the part that is the Benjamin Franklin they, they prepare, and I would love to play for you because some of you maybe uh, you saw already, but some know, so we put that here. Exactly. Yes. Iranian born physicist Manisha Razini has already changed the world with the laser that carries the internet under the sea and the new tech inside airport body scanners. But she's not finished. I said, my God, please, wait, don't kill me. Let me to finish to see the result before to go home. The unique forms of light created in Rizzini's world-class quantum devices lab at Northwestern University are about to power two more world-changing technologies, a super-speed wireless internet and a laser that can make explosives shine through luggage and clothes. So I get married at the age of uh, the 15 years old. I got my high school with the three children, but at the same time, continuing exactly and never missing even one other step, neither from school nor from my duty as a mother. Rosini never gave up on education, and by her early 20s, against unbelievable odds, the mother of three was studying nuclear physics at Tehran University on a path to change the world with laser light. What's the difference between a radio wave, a microwave, and sunshine? Believe it or not, it's all the same stuff. Light, photons moving through space. But here's the difference. Notice this photon oscillating as it travels. The faster the oscillation, the higher the frequency. That's it. Radio waves, visible light, x-rays, and beyond. Everything on the electromagnetic spectrum from left to right it's just light moving at increasing frequencies. We use different frequencies of light to transmit wireless data. Now here's a key point. Higher frequencies generally mean faster wireless data speeds. So how fast can we go? Gamma waves have the highest frequency. They could allow downloading of thousands of full-length movies a second. But whoops, all light rays from gamma down to UV damage our bodies and don't travel well in the atmosphere. So what's left? Well, forget visible light. That's the sun's territory. And we're already broadcasting on these slower frequencies. So transmitting faster than we transmit today leaves us here, below infrared, but above microwaves, in a section called the terahertz spectrum. In the 1980s, producing terahertz light signals could only be done with an ultra-cold temperature laser, impractical for communications outside of the research facility. Many scientists thought this was the end of the line for terahertz communication. Working at the Exploratory Materials Lab at defense contractor Thompson CFS in Orsay, France, Rosini thought otherwise. It's all of the, the secret of the source is in the primitive And that's exactly where she turned. Using a semiconductor called indium phosphide, she eliminated the need for cold temperatures, shocking her colleagues with a room temperature laser that made terahertz transmission practical for the first time. They said in one year you are going to become famous in the world. Everywhere they wanted to have me, especially, especially in the United States, for this technique because it's got changing everything. Currently, a German laser system based on Rosini's work operates at a speed capable of transmitting roughly 13 HD feature films in a second. But there's more. Just as X-ray light penetrates most soft tissue and bounces off hard bone. Some terahertz frequency light penetrates suitcases and makes explosives shine. Pioneered in Rosini's lab, devices smaller than a shoebox can see bombs and other volatile chemicals in luggage and beneath clothes. These devices can be made cheaply and are easily installable at airports, on buses, and subways, and at stadium turnstiles. After more than 30 years of engineering groundbreaking quantum devices, Rosini is still riding the waves toward future discoveries propelled by the same sources of energy that have fueled one of the most impressive careers in communications physics. Curiosity. Curiosity. Passion. That's it. To have, really, again, passion to, to understand something and the curiosity. That's the two elements. Nothing else. Okay, so that is a good place for me to stop.
bring it back. That it was for all of you, especially independent of the race, sex, nationality, and religion. No excuse for anybody. So I'm going to explain to you how I did what was from the beginning, the time that I got in your situation, your age, and up to now, and what is the future. So here, again, it be you, yes, sir. What was, uh, when I got very young, you know, all of you, I was very curious, uh, curious about one thing. They were telling that, yes, some of my family, they were smoking, and they said that that is going to create the concept, especially my father and my husband said. And they were saying, no, their uncle is living 90 years, 95 years old and is working and no problem. So it was the curiosity for me to understand what is the reason. So I tried to do the nuclear physics and to do the neutron activation analysis and trace element gamma spectroscopy in the different cigarette, fuel of cigarette, and for to understand what is the really the different element and to understand the correlation between that and the human sector. But unfortunately, I got uh, one day the high dose of the radioactivity both the dose and they forbid me to continue. But if you look here, as you can see, all of the, most of the element in the periodic table, I went through to understand why it's working because of the radioactivity to do that with the atomic nuclear the, the, the reactor to make them to become radioactive. So, after that, I tried to, to go through what the more fundamental part. It means that to the crystal itself. And for example, because the matter we are speaking, this conference is about the matter and the light. So to come today, again the matter, to the crystal, and to do the, to understand that, why the difference form in the crystal and difference change in the crystal as function of temperature. So I got very, very curious, exactly, exactly my book that you can see, step by step, that is my way that I try to understand the science. So I changed the character calculation of the crystal field and doing the permanent electron permanent resonance spectroscopy with the, some of the, the permanent ions, such as because the permanent ion, it means that this shell material. This shell material, gadolinium, manganese, and at the same time, I was lucky because I was the best, uh, the, the lab with the best professor in France, uh, the, the, that he was the best in the world to have some a special crystal with the material, and that I tried to do. Again, many nice things, many nice results that was coming up, and to understand and to create a lot of, at the same time, the curiosity in the, 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 the scientific uh, the, the community, but unfortunately, that the Muller, that he got the Nobel Prize with vendors for the, uh, the high PC uh, in 1987, he was coming, everybody was coming, the question was, what is the application of phase transition? I was doing a lot of theory, a lot of beautiful science, physics. I didn't know. So I was curious in order to understand the application is important. Because if you do only the theory, if you do only the research, but do not have any reason beyond why you are doing it. You know, so side by side of the Orsay University, it was a central research lab uh, of Thompson that it was famous for the Gallium Maxwell. And it was very prestigious, not fellas. So I went there for to understand a little about technology. So I went there, the first question from me, it was, they asked, if I know what is the Gallium Maxwell? I said that no, it's not something of German. I'd say that I don't, if I know, they showed me a very something say that that is reactor. I said that for the first time, they did indium phosphate that is black magic, and nobody, nobody can understand and defeat. But it was the time for the telecommunication, and for the telecommunication, all because 
silicon or nickel fiber telecommunication, the lasers, more for most part, was crucial. And they had a liquid phase epitaxy, and that this was the technique that never could create the oil quality and especially distributed feedback that is necessary. So I didn't know anything. But when they mentioned that for the first time in the board and application for telecommunication, that it was initiative. So I tried to say that I don't know what has been everything that you are telling. And if there is anybody can do something, if I know and I think that it's important, I can do better. So what I did? I want all of the students to follow me, please. Especially all of the students. Look at that. It was in your postcard that I hear and tell you also. So immediately, I tried to understand what is what. I had the background. So I did exactly to put that exactly as I mentioned, the binary, ternary, quaternaries, to put this element in your postcard, scale your mass all together. And that it was the first calculation and the diagram that I created, and I tried to put exactly these two systems. One it was for the Mokrochima of the Mokron lasers, and another it was for the gallium mass from 808, 980, again for the silicon optical fiber to understand that. So that it was here, that exactly as you can see, I went there for one month, they insisted to keep me there, and that I created again the board, the result, change in telecommunication, and as you can see here, okay. but as you can see that I didn't have time to change my name. <laughs> All right. So, and at the same time, so what was here, that it was very interesting, because here, that is my first PhD student in front, the Olivia Shea, and Evan began that someone who you don't know, and that he is not the president of the, uh, the, the director of the innovation of Hollywood. And Mahan Dufu from Ecolormo, that he is not the vice president of uh, Thales, 150,000 uh, employees, and he's going to come at the same time here the, 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 the January 9. And that is my daughter, that she is a daughter, the CEO of the Nanovation in Paris. But in my group, as you can see, I didn't have any. Even only one city Joshua and everybody that you can see here, they were coming to visit and to sign the book that we have, and that the center become the result that we had. It was only during 10 years, Thompson was only placed in the board that we could have 1.3, 1.4, because exactly the technology that I developed it, and that for the MOCBD, and that it was for some of you, for the student to see that, it was the laser compressed, MOCBD compressed in Japan, and always the first speaker, which was very important. So it was, they put that for right the, with the Dr. Haziki and Thompson in a keynote address, outline the sheer diversity and potential of MODP with the category of first of new materials, highest mobility, sharpest internet, new device, one delegate described that Dr. Azegi as a Madonna of MODP in her growth sort of Paris producing material miracle, while another referred to this talk of book as the essential driving force in the development of MODP and etc. So it changed the world. You have to know that during 10 years at Thompson, I was only one in the board to do super that is MOC 1.3, 1.4, 1.4, everything. And that it was, is changed telecommunication. The first, exactly, the, the, the many places they tried to have me, and it was at Northwestern that the team at Jerry Coin at the time, that they came two years that they were telling, and they were busy distributing just filling up on the leg, and they said that if you are coming, you are going to give me the last, uh, the, the last floor of this building, and they explained that uh, everybody they brought before, they pick up your petition because they hired me at the same time with the team Julio Kiro at the same time that he's a theoretician, and at the same time Roger Shan, that the great the, the computer scientist that now is working for the President Trump at the same time. But say that you are only one 
that we can do and we cannot have you, what is the condition that we can have you? Because I knew how difficult it is. I knew it's exactly, especially at university, and especially environment that we have no clue what that means, and at the same time, it's so demanding, it's so difficult. So that it was the reason I accepted only because for the last floor to build everything, and I started exactly as you can see, they tried the six million, because the facility that I put together with the one pillow, you cannot do that. But that it was only the money for the finishing the floor, okay, the, 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 the last floor. And that they put that probably is the highest higher in 20 years. You have to understand that they did everything and starting. But what I did, only with the student of all of you. I started here for a scratch. All of that, that is my own design. The fifth floor, and at the same time, the first floor that you have, some of you, you are, you are familiar to build everything and starting and to create. I didn't accept any administrative because immediately they wanted the still they wanted for the dean, chair, everything with the vice president. Never I wanted to create this again facility that is unique today for all of you, not only in at Northwestern, in the United States, in the world. So that I created the undergraduate graduate of the system of engineering because they wanted me to, better to make the department of that that I did that. And I created all of the class that all of you are following and continuing to have great faculty. First of all, the great the, the textbook for you. And that is uh, this one that is the first edition. And that at the same time, that's the first edition. And the most edition that is the material that is here. It's not only today. You have to understand that in 50 years, 100 years, is going to be always the textbook of the day. This year, I understood that Chitel, that it was the very famous in the past away, and that everybody was comparing this book with the Chitel. But the Chitel, it was only silicon, and this one is for everything that you are doing at this time. But I put that here, great faculty. Great faculty, here you can see that is the Professor Humano Semi number 23, my student. And the, the, the Dr. Steve Splitkan, the number 24, Roy McClinton, number 13, and number 46, that is the, 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 the Professor Simeon Wagner, that they are, uh, they are here. And that, if you see here, I created the center, that is the multidisciplinary because everything that we do is multidisciplinary. It means that you need to know physics, chemistry, material science, mechanical engineering, electrical, bio, everything, and mathematics, of course, that is the tool you have to know. So we do everything from the design, material, characterization, optical, electrical, structural, fabrication, everything, and what we do, the most important part, it was after one and a half years that I inaugurated with the two Nobel Prize, Louis of Hippocrisy, and here, that is Dr. Steve Smithkin that you can see sitting here, all right? And that, again, one of my uh, the, the, the undergraduate students, the, 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 the Goofy, the, that he is, for your information, he is the board of the Department of the ECA at Northwestern, and he's making, he's the president of the partner. He's making more than one billion per year for your information. But that, the professor, or simply the, the, the professor Wong, that he is a, a member of the academic science in Chongchung. And all of them, that uh, Patrick is a professor at the University of Alabama, professor at the University of the, 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 the Hong Kong, and etc. all of them. And that, that is the Jim Hong, that's a big director at the, uh, the Fermi Lab. So all of them, they are, they, they are great at the Christian, that is a big boss at the Notre Dame, etc. So what we did, I would love to, again, to show you this video, because that is again important for the that. Because for 
all of you are to understand that. I never ever in my life. With uh, Professor Rajivi since she uh, arrived on the scene uh, with apocalyptic force <laughs> three or four years ago. And uh, we've developed uh, uh, a close and clearly defined relationship uh, that's coordinated, not symbiotic. Uh, she corrects my English, and I correct her French. And she makes requests, and I write checks. <laughs> <laughs> we had our clean rooms arranged in the, in, as I said, in the main building, and she spotted the, the uh, fourth floor again, overlooking the lake and the views of uh, downtown Chicago when the weather's nice. But she decided that she wanted her clean rooms up there. We had a very distinguished faculty member with a, a uh, electronic control program for his muscles who's sitting here who was very kind enough to give up several thousand square feet. <laughs> did set out to do was to attract Professor Rosicki to Northwestern. And as uh, Jerry indicated, that was a non-trivial affair. She has become known locally as the $6 million woman. <laughs> uh, there is a familiar biblical prophecy that says the uh, meek shall inherit the earth. Uh, much as probably the uh, finest living counterexample that I uh, <laughs> She's established a new tradition in the university. And uh, this is a multicultural one of uh, serving champagne and bagels at the least provocation. <laughs> one of our, our goals is to try to develop enterprises that generate first class science, uh, in particular, has high potential for application to significant problems. And I can't think of a better example as an illustration uh, of this. Uh, we're extremely pleased. Uh, and highly supportive of the center's developments. Uh, we're proud of having Professor Riziki at Northwestern. We thank you all for uh, traveling some, I appreciate, for a considerable distance to join us in participating uh, in this inaugural workshop. We wanted to, to get a strong device, device person here, and it took three years really to, uh, to identify and bring Riziki here. And uh, it was really, during the process, was quite long and uh, uh, I wouldn't say without pain. And it was, the, at the end of it, the department really became poor, but very famous. As chairman of the ECS, I would like to add my thanks to all of you for coming here from all over the world. And it's really the most impressive collection of researcher and it is a tribute to uh, Manisha that he managed to invite you to get you all to come here. Uh, I know she's very, very persuasive. I've counted uh, more than 90 attendees. Uh, again, if I forget your institution, uh, my apologies, I, don't, I didn't count exactly, but we have MIT, Cornell, Michigan, Illinois, uh, Santa Barbara, USC, UCLA, University of Cincinnati, Sukuba University, Max Planck Institute, uh, Otsay University, uh, Motorola, Amoco, Hewlett Packard, Microcore, McDonald Douglas, Coffee Corporation, TRW, AT&T Bell Labs, Interbank, Madison, MyRed, Morton, Thompson, CSF, uh, NTT, and uh, all agencies. I couldn't really remember all. I know there was Army, uh, Navy, Air Force, uh, Pentagon, and uh, I, if I forgot any, uh, my father. Who? Dumbo, of course, yeah. Well, the theory of relativity is right. Uh, 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 I knew that uh, Professor Rizegi moved with velocity of light, and one of the results of that is uh, that there is time contra contraction. Uh, my speech was supposed to be 40 minutes, then became 20, 30, then became 25, now it's 20. So, so things are in, 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 in an optimistic time frame. Uh, uh, I decided to come only to to, to convince uh, uh, Professor Aziki that I don't hold it against her that she's not going to do well. <laughs>
positive laser technology developed with compact lasers. Good afternoon, I'll try to get this talk going after the talk fast. So, it should be a problem for time. I'm going to talk today about a collaboration I had recently uh, between the Northwestern University Coding Corporation and Wright Laboratory. I want to thank Professor Rajiv for inviting me here. It's certainly an honor and privilege to be able to come to you today and talk to you briefly about the Army Research Office, where I've been a program manager for a couple of years now. Good afternoon, and uh, I'm one of Professor Rajiv's uh, sponsors, and I am very happy to have become a sponsor. Actually, uh, some of our previous cases to obtain out the contact is uh, first, you have to be Lenya, and the second, you have to be Fiji. <laughs> I'd like to uh, thank uh, Manage for inviting me to tell you about very, very small quantum structures. Uh, these quantum structures are only seven angstroms, less than one uh, nanometer. And um, I'd like to thank, uh, again, uh, Manage and uh, collaborators. I figured out how much time I had, 20 minutes. And all the things I wanted to say, which is three topics, there was only one solution, to talk faster than the hair. So it means talking at a rate of roughly two billion per minute. Now I'd like you to introduce you again to the uh, six million dollar woman. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's now seven million dollars. Dr. Zaki. the most important 
SPI in 1991, they came in France, and SPI, the first conference that they organized, they came to ask me to do that. And they are telling that it was the only the one that they lost money at SPI, it becomes SPI that is today. All of the people that they, you saw, you show and you demonstrated, you have to know that what is there then, that they taught and the respect for, the, for me and the book that I did and I am doing at the same time. So here, as you can see here, first we started by that. But, but first we started by nitro. Why? UV. UV is very, very, very important. You have to understand that at this time, for the space, for the, the brain at the same time, and the human process understanding, we need to have the UV both detection and emission. So I started by that why? Because always what's the application you have? Because I am at university, I'm working for what? For my students. The students for what? Because they have to have the job. And at the same time, money is coming from the government and the country. So it has to be useful for everybody. That's the reason you have to know that. All of my students, without exception, everywhere they want them, and they have a kind of reputation that they are the best. They are knowledgeable, honest. They have discipline, hard worker. And at the same time, they, have, they are productive. So that we started immediately. I started by Trinitra because that it was very simple. You have no, you had that, that didn't need any special the, the, the safety and be clean. Immediately exactly as I mentioned to you, material. Material is the publication. So I tried to develop the machine because that is very important. Again, it's the MOCBD, metal organic chemical vapor deposition, and still that is the system that we are using. But some of you, the material scientists, uh, that you can understand, look at here how we can have to control atom by atom, but to do what? To convict exactly as you can see the detector and the student that she did one of that at this time. She is the director of the, and uh, she is the vice president of Global GE. All right, and that we did all of the, the LEDs that Ryan and Peter that is sitting here and at the same time we rise, all of that is for the first time. For some of you, you have to understand, if you have the anthrax, a few molecules of anthrax, if you shine with 280, immediately you can create the fluorescent, and if you have the detector, you can detect. So that is, again, is a very important any way that all of that that is done for the first time in the world at North Festival and at this time that is the huge project for the future and just the student we did the first lasers that Nakamura got Nobel Prize a few uh, years ago but the first laser after Japan it was here and all of the aluminum get to neutron and any any that I showed you it was at Northwestern and that you are going to have and that at Northwestern nobody could understand and at the same time it was the problem everybody is speaking about it, the impeachment that is not true so that the villains called that say that if you are sent to us you are giving to uh, the Kinokamura uh, to uh, to, to review, and it was the reviewers of the Nakamura. The reviewers found this paper to be a pleasure to read, and the reviewers comment, excellent result from blue laser. And all of the reviewers are the students that you saw their picture. Now, the, I mentioned that objective is at the same time to have eyes. If you, especially if you have laser, you have the detector, we need to have the focal parallel. So that is a very complicated, I'm going to later on to explain to you, but that it was uh, the subject of the Professor Ryan McNeil that is sitting there, here, that it was his PhD, that it was for the world first, and now, 20 to 15 years later, that we have, that is the subject, everybody working, and to put on silicon, that is the unit to the Northwestern, to our group, and again, as you can see here, the, the book, and it's continuing, but uh, thanks to the, from the first day, everything that we do for the first time, we create a lot of work for the difference in the government, country, and in the world, and going, and at this time, 
I took at the same time many patents because you are going to speak about the patent at the same time that I'm showing to all of you to understand. The patent, the patent authority, because four of my students are patent authority in Chicago and one of them come from over here that is sitting here at the same time. They have first to understand in order to be able to have, to understand the value and to make the order patent that they take it and understand the value of my patent. And then none of them it went. And if they understood <coughs> that they come, they could make billion, but nothing. But one thing, why I'm continuing? Because one part, the government, they are, they know that here is only one that they can be. But for the genius student that you can see here, that is the Lakshe Gutam. I will tell you that is the one month he's here and continuing. He had the fellow from the Cornell University with much higher salary. He put that to come to Northwestern to a group just he was there. From a month, just Monday, to give a talk about the work that he's doing, that is impressive what he's doing. APD for the UB, that is our big project with the DARPA, and it's very important. And that is this kind of the student that I am here and I am doing and they are doing everything. That is the future. Now let's to go very fast to the other subject. Again, the yellow mass of yellow and aluminum mass of only for you. That it was the material that everybody was doing, but unfortunately it didn't take me that it's, it was not reliable. So I changed here immediately. It was my pattern that I choose the material that has exactly as I showed at the beginning, the quaternary and the gallium aluminum free. And immediately I came here, it was dark one. And at the same time, my pattern, we did that change the telecommunication and change high power laser condition. And that is the exactly, as you can see, the lifetime. Everything is in my second book here because that, and after that, they, nature, because they were saying that why are not the, the publishing nature immediately, which, but what was that? That changed everything. Changed the high power lasers. The, the price from the 1,000 per day, what came to the $1 per watt? Now coming to the, again, in your first point, the stuff we dream of with our Again, everybody sees 40 years working, 50 years, especially the Japanese for the telecommunication, but they have the technique of liquid phase epitaxy. It was impossible to do the quantum wave superlative. So I developed that and changed again everything. As you can see here, that is laser on silicon that I did at the song. Some of you do not know, but that is the dream for the silicon, the, the silicon photonic chip. And that here, and that it was at 1988, the first continuous wave laser. And now, 30 years later, everybody working on that, and still they are following this work. And now coming to the, again, large and matter to go to the high power laser, continuous difference maybe, coming because any wavelength he needs. So that it was, again, why we do that? Because there are many different applications, from the medical, from communication, from the, the gas sensing, everything. So what we did, there, there are two ways that you can do. Or you can come up with the, again, intersubman and the material, or then you go to the longer wavelength, unfortunately due to the KT, so that is very heavy, you can go to the intersubman. And that, again, how you can do that, very fast on giving you that it was, again, when Leo Ezaki, Nobel Prize, at 1970, came with the ideas of the superlatives, immediately, because I know about two other scientists from Russia, they said that with the intercept that we can do, and it took that, that they hear, again, by at Northwestern, by having the new growth technique that I developed again that is capsules, molecular we can see, and coming, coming, the, again, the diode that you can see here, exactly at present you have to have thousand, two thousand layer, atom by atom, to control, and that to come in, to have high power, the results that I'm showing, because if you do only, and to publish, nobody can believe that. So that is the laser that we gave to the daylight, that is one of the very famous 
the industry in the United States. And this result that I'm showing you here, only I want to explain to you, is unique in the world based on that everybody following, including the group at the same time, everybody, and based on that, they try to create a lot of different projects and the different, you know, the, the, the activity. But one of the most important parts, for the first time, Homeland Security came to Northwestern to give us the project because they wanted to have a system that for the, all of the, the detection of the, uh, the, the THG. So they needed one system that for from the six to 10 micron without any, again, the, uh, the external part, and that it was the things that again the group of the students or the students, the major of the zoo, that they put that the Northwestern is exceptional and Northwestern University is only performer of the tree to develop. And who was the other one? It was again Cabazo that you saw, another one it was Kumar Patel that you saw put something for the inauguration that are the best in the world. So now it's coming here. From the first day that we started, it was the PhD of the, uh, the Steve Slipkin at the same time. And up to now, everything that you can see is unique, or the first, or the best, at most best, day, thanks to all of the students that we have. But it's not, at the same time, the undergraduate. Because that is the undergraduate, as you can see, uh, the, uh, the Aldi and the, the Big Nate, that his picture is on that. Both of them, they are taking that. And their objective is to make that using our photo casket. And at the same time, the detector that I'm going to show you, for the brat detection, if you have as an example the cold or cancer or anything, the, in the brat there are some change of the CO2 or the uh, ammonia or the different gas. That is the best way and that is the objective and the opportunity. And you have to know that in summertime, you were coming at 6, 6, 30 in the morning. They were there and they were watching and they continue. Now I'm coming the last part is the terrorist. Why terrorist is important? Because it's going to penetrate through the tissues, bones, for the different application, again for the difference with the, the, with the communication, for many difference. But what's the problem? The problem is there is no dial lasers. There is no unfortunately the detector block the things that we develop for the telecommunication or for the, uh, the mid internet. So we came again that we bought call base. I have to thank all of my program managers. One of them from DARPA asked me to give a tutorial on the terrorists, uh, lasers. So immediately I put my group to see that what we can do and we can do it using a lot of, again, what? Because it's application. That is future. Everything that you can see today, there is nothing but in 10 years, 20, 30, 40 years, that they are the material that is going to set the subject of the research. And that's what we did. We came immediately, rapidly, by using the, the different technique, using our lasers, and we came to demonstrate, and that to have the room temperature, and that is the future again. I need, we need the genius student to work because it's very hard. Needs a lot of passion, background, knowledge, and hard working to make it continue, to make it a, 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 to become useful for everybody. Now, room temperature, high power frequency comes. Some of you, you know that, okay, if you see that Nobel Prize came in 2004, but that had this time, so just the paper came out from our group. Room temperature, terahertz frequency code for many applications that, again, that is future, and that I'm expecting many genius students in future can continue this kind of work in Northwestern. Now, the last part is a detection. Everything that I explained for the initial to read at the same time is detection. For the detection, My name is, is Meneshe Brazili, one of the Pimoti professor of electrical engineering at Northwestern University. Okay, so what we did, what we need, the things that we need is the following. We need for the detection, similar to the laser, we need to have room temperature, multicolor, multicolor one, because your eye has three colors. In order to have the difference column, we need more you have the column, more you can have better performance. So what we did, again, it was 
Mercury Catherine Telluride to six, that is Ioni, 60 billion per year. Is go for that because that is an everything opportunity. Is classified for the big company. But I came here to US and Northwestern and I brought the trip off in Yomotimono, in the Masol of Timono. And all of that, and look at the, look at the result now. First, we come for the quantum quick, quantum well infrared photo detector using the quantum dots, everything. But if you can see here, it's going. And immediately, as you can see, you can have all of that is done for the first time at Northwestern and in our group. But exactly as you can see, that opportunity is very normal. So what we did immediately, we tried to go today again to top two. I'm not going to the top two to explain, but I can explain to you exactly as you can see the, the camera that is here. And I encourage you to go to the website if you would love to understand more. But all of the technology that we did is transferred to the industry. And that only I would love to show you a little that to set the vista. That is the that is the five minutes video that I don't believe that we have time. How much time we have? So I, I, absolutely. So but it's very important because this vista program, the government that you can see that to say that how is important, but they put that in the list of most leading DOD contractor participant in this has her student, L3, HRA, FLIA, this program. Her group's research is also very impressive, always has a lot of results, and very quickly, she is having difficulty working with industry because nobody could keep pace with her, but the impact of her research is significant to the default important field. So they have all of my students. And as you can see here, the board first focal plenaries can come at Northwestern. Everything is transferred, all of the great students, and that is the thing that is continuing. But when all is continuing, okay, continuing, again, look at here. That is very important because that is future again. All of that they are the huge contract and the research that we have. And I would love to show you again another of new PhD student. Jockey is one year at this time. He is just he was giving the talk. He is pushing some of the very, very important projects for the HPT, that is the DARPA project that we have, and that at the same time, undergraduate using the lasers and the detector that we have for the and using for the first time. Need infrared for the free space communication using Arcus here and the room temperature top two that you can see that is Emily and at the same time Stefan. One is Stefan is responsible for the detector detection part, Emily for the emission part, block the two others, and that is the again the future that we are working on the graduate. So now I would love to show you only before to finish to the one thing. Look at that. That is the government people that are there. Currently, Northwestern has a number of technology the government has keen interest and also as the board leader for the casket, top two lasers, ultra, ultra, the, 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 UV, FDA, the focal lasers, UV lasers, and that government needs and say that, okay, we have to give and exactly say that in all of the area, Northwestern is not only in the top, or is the first, or is the best, and thanks to who? All of the students, because that is the I'm teaching only to take on the graduate and to bring that dog still 18 years old, growing 18 years old, and that, that you can see that, that and all of the, 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 the genius students. Our silicon photonic that you are hearing, that is, I'm not going to the detail, only to say that that is again another student. This result that you can see, you pay one billion today, nobody in the board can do that. That is done at security, and we have a contract again with the Navy and the center with the, and they did the DOD for that and the student went to so immediately they hired him with a very high salary in the, uh, in the Texas that is working. 
So at this time, there are the many new material that you work so that again we have the we have the, the, the pattern and we have the big contract is coming from Air Force and it's starting from the GT. So I would love to tell you only one thing. Again for the pattern. Again, because that is the key talk. This song, because everybody doing it on the is very important for the high power transistor, but nobody can make the piton. Immediately they asked me that we do here at Ospesten, and we did that rapidly, we got the piton, and I took that immediately the pattern. This time, North Western went to take the pattern 24 hours because they understood the important. And my government, uh, the, the, the program manager, insisted be careful with the pattern because all of this project is going to be in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years to become very, very important. Similar to the things that I did 30 years ago, now it becomes important that all of that, that is for the future. Now, only I would love to say that what is the future? Matter and at the same time long term. Going toward the, again a smaller, a smaller and more efficient. But now, only for you to say that uh, since the dawn of artificial dawn from 150 years ago, engineered materials have been the key to producing light. From incandescent bulb to laser to photonic quantum computers, the complexity of material has accelerated to produce light with ever more control for ever more refined applications. Bonded only by the creative power of the human mind, this is still a focus of matter. We learn into the important task of advancing the material that move and agitate in the generation of or response to the photons illuminating our minds toward the next revolution of understanding ourselves and the universe. So please be sure that, again, don't forget, light is the foundation of the universe. Let there be light, let there be curiosity, let there be research, and let there be knowledge. For that, I would love to thanks, again, all of this wonderful is impossible without the excellent program manager that we have from the UAE in the at US that are coming to us, and especially genius student postdoc research faculty that we have, of course, that new station was best in that as an un absolutely a total <coughs> because it was there that I did really so we couldn't do it after my twenty science doctorate. So by that I would love to stop here and to encourage again all of you, all of the a student, when you go to the lab, when you go to the class, to have a purpose, don't go for to have a greater. Have a purpose and say that what is going to be your fingerprint in the advancement of science in the world and what you can do. Because you, your role as a scientist is very, very important for the future generation. By that, thanks again for spending the time, even Saturday afternoon, and to visit to my class. Thanks again. I did 
who is not the person that I did, nuclear physics wire for to understand exactly the problem of the just imagine everything that everything that for the boy you have to understand that home. You have a little less little you have a brain problem. You have a little a little less sodium or potassium you catch cold oil. That is what they got me in this the at university. They was they say that at the special engineer, we have no science, nothing. So that it was the reason I created the fundamental of solid engineering as it. And my book I started why the <coughs> atom and crystal and powerful undergraduate, those that they took to the with me, and they know that I am every day I'm expecting, I'm explaining the importance of understanding of the structure of the atom, because everything is related to, to that. We don't care because I've given the piece of work that I wanted to show, and that the Ryan was saying that don't do that because it's more, more limited. I said that no, the structure of atom, if you understand, because the difference molecule hard thing and they connect with each other. And the carbon, again, is an excellent example to say that how it changes. So objective is, yes, we need to have, from the first, from the beginning, to put the physical chemistry bio together. They are basic and all connected with each other. And for that, again, this meeting is the matter, matter, the law and matter, I love that. That is that, if everybody knows, again, I repeat, in 50 years, but if we understand that, all of the connection with each other, that is changing. Then you are speaking about the Casimir force, and you know what that is. Any element that you can see, you have the chalk, remove the first, because when any element, I have that here, the last atom here, they are open. You have the charge here. So the charge, if you have the detector, can attract immediately, immediately, everything that they say that. That is the surface dark current. Or for the passive, or when you have it, all of the food that you are eating, and everything for us, for it, all of that, what we need, what is the structure, protein structure, and how we understand that, and after that, to form the solution for the eliminating the problem. And there is nobody, nobody is the same as we know that. The 99% of the DNA of all of us, which means everything is the same. Only the impurity in each one that is there. So that is the piece that we are focusing So my objective is please start exactly as I am being fundamental. So this is engineering, understanding the structure of atom and the quantum mechanics associated with it, not the formula. Because everybody, unfortunately, we go, all of the book is full of formula, but not really to explain what that's it. Okay, so that is my day, and that is the things that I try to really to push, and the many places around the world, in US, in, in, the, in the Euro, and in China, in the Japan, and in the US, etc. Everybody follows this. You have to know, because then you have the Bachelor of Science, it's important that the engineering, you don't know what this means, I don't know what can, how it's possible. Because even the choice is so that you are doing, not everything at all. So objective answer to your question, yes. You have to put much more a stem that you are doing every the science. Math, math, okay, is necessary for everybody, but the physics, chemistry, and body, they are connected to each other. And they start with your project, exactly, I explain again, try, please, everybody. To understand the, that we see the table and that that is that that is answer to the question. And you are going to see that that is really but when you go to listening, I'm going to the website and Google, you are going to have all of these big scientists that I'm not going to the name that explaining some of these phenomena that we have last morning or between crystal or at the same time the casino force, then they are speaking of oh my gosh, we can what is that? Or when you are seeing that all of the, the can deliver what is how it's working. So 
a big gap. So one thing that I want to say again, according to that, I want to attract the attention of all of you. If you can understand the structure of atoms, the most important discovery of the next century, it will be high TC, high temperature superconductivity. That can change everything. The carbon we got already one of the prize for the carbon body bar. You said that it's impossible to have pentagon and they show that yes, it's possible, Nobel Prize. We got the second Nobel Prize with the graphene, and now 100%, that is my prediction, that the another Nobel Prize is going to come by understanding and understanding something high room temperature at the high DC. So, conclusion to you, my dear, we have to put everybody for the Bachelor of Science and at, at, the, at the school, STEM, science, math, technical science, physics, chemistry, and Thank you very much. Thank you. We are running a little late, so we're going to start the, the sessions now. You'll find signs to find the rooms where the sessions are located. Thank you very much, and then we'll thank Professor Rezegi again. Oh.